If you're looking for an emergency toolkit for your Harley-Davidson motorcycle so you don't get stranded, you've definitely come to the right place. Check this out. Welcome back, bike Alex Ryan Erlacher here, lawbodybiker.com. Thank you for checking back in. In today's video, I'm going to review the Cruise Tools RTH3 Road Tech Emergency Toolkit for your Harley Davidson motorcycle. And if you guys appreciate all the free videos we put out, you want to support us, you can get the Road Tech Cruise Tools kit right in the Law Abiding Biker store and the smaller version, which is the Speed Kit. Help support us, link in the description below to this very toolkit. All right, we all know the cheap Harley-Davidson kit that comes with a lot of new Harley-Davidson motorcycles. Very, very chintzy. Take a quick look at it. And yes, it comes free, but you shouldn't expect much for free. That's it. Very, very chintzy little tools. I mean, stuff you don't really even want to use. I mean, rack that into your hand and um, just really sharp metal. Um, would it get you by? Possibly. Um, very, very limited on what it has on it. Some hex heads, some screwdrivers, some torque. So you can get rid of that and get this which will definitely get you back on the road. All right, so let's take a look inside the Cruise Tools Rotec RTH3 kit for Hardy Davidson. Comes in a nice canvas bag, uh, and I like it because it's a roll up and it keeps it nice and small. Um, the canvas is very thick. It's not gonna rub holes in it, you know, uh, bumping around in your saddlebag and all that. Unfold it like this, we're gonna go through everything. All right, so we're gonna start down here. Here's all your wrenches. Now, these are the most common sizes. Cruise Tool is a leader in the industry, which is why we brought it to our store. They put the most common fasteners on your Harley, stuff that uh, is gonna get you back on the road. So they really specifically pick these tools. So let's take a look. Nine, these are all combination wrenches. 9 16 half inch, 7 16 3 8 10 millimeter, we'll get to in a second. Of course, one thing I can think of, one half inch, 9 16 right on this YouTube channel. We show you how to uh, externally adjust your cable clutch. We do it all the time on our police bikes on the course. You too can do that. The video is on this channel. Um, also with these and also the hex heads, which I'll talk about in a second down here in the kit, you could actually do an internal clutch adjustment, which we do all the time out on the police motors courses, and you could do it too. Of course, we already moved down. We're going to move down to the 10 millimeter. One common thing I can think of this, it's a 12 point. These work really good on your brake lines going into your calipers on a Harley Davidson, a 12 point 10 millimeter. There's other fasteners that that would work on too on your Harley. A Crescent wrench, of course, adjustable, very nice addition to this kit and vice grips also, very nice addition. Now these tools are pretty sturdy, not something that you can uh, expect that's gonna break on you when you use them. Um, pretty good quality. We've had these kits for a long time here at Law Abiding Biker Media, been using them. So we go over here, of course, very nice. This is a uh, tire pressure gauge. All right, nice to have one of those now. Very cool. This is mechanics wire right here, and I have used this in the past. Had a cotter pin. This can get you by in a pinch to get back into town to get where you need or get the official part. Zip ties recently in Canada. One of the guys, Popeye, lost his shift linkage. It broke. We we're able to use zip ties. Those are super, super handy. We we're able to actually zip tie his shift linkage back on till we could get to a nearby town and get the uh, uh, shift linkage replacement. These are common, of course. Everybody knows on Hardy's Torx. These are the most common sizes. Your Torx 25, T27, T40. They're in the L shape there. We've got hex heads, very, very common on Harleys too, of course. All the common size, 1 8, 5 30 seconds, 3 16 and 5 16 among some others in there. We'll move over to the 6 in 1 screwdriver, and I'll explain this a little bit. This is really nice, pops out. You've got two different uh, uh, straight slots, two different Phillips on both sides. In addition, of course, the handle goes on. You've got a screwdriver. This pops out, this pops out. That turns right into a nut driver. This is a 5 16 I believe, and it is the most common size. We actually used this out on the police motor course recently, a heat shield on an exhaust, those hose clamps. That's exactly a great size to tighten your heat shields. And this size smaller, I believe it's a quarter inch on that side. So that's why they call that the six and one. It looks like just a screwdriver multi-purpose, but it does a little bit more and it has the nut drivers incorporated on that. All right, spark plug wrench for Hardy Davidson. And of course you could take your Crescent wrench right here, strap it on right there and uh, you could replace and remove your spark plugs. Speaking of spark plugs, we'll move down here. And this has a spark plug gapper, which is real nice. Of 
of course, electrical tape, very important to have electrical tape while you're out. You could also throw some Gorilla Tape. When the shift linkage broke recently in Canada, we did use some Gorilla Tape, we had it. That's a nice addition if you wanna put it in the kit. Of course, if you lose a bolt, you don't wanna lose it again. Some blue thread lock right there in the tube. Now we'll move down to the uh, mini ratchet, they call it, of course, whether you're, it's got the flip switch, whether you're taking off or tightening. Right there, it's got a nice little two inch extension that we can pop on this quarter inch drive on this mini ratchet. We move on down here, this is a 10 millimeter socket right there. We'll move down here. I wanna make sure and give you guys all the sizes so that you know what actually comes in the kit. Half inch, of course these all go on the two inch extension or the quarter inch ratchet itself. We'll move on down and this is a 7 sixteenths and last and these are really organized, so these aren't gonna get lost. That's what I like about these little pouches, a 3 h a 3 8 inch socket right there. Again, the mini ratchet, and again, I like all these things right here. Um, it keeps it nice and organized. You're not gonna lose these tools. The one addition I would say we're very clear here, the only negative on this kit that I would say I wish uh, cruise tools right here. You can see this keeps falling out. This is the electrical tape and the spark plug gap or just this strap. It's constantly not staying in there. Is it a deal breaker? Absolutely not. It's still an awesome kit. I just wish they would improve that. They could actually sew in a little pocket here and they could put these two items in a pocket. Now you say this is a great kit. It has pretty much everything I need. Um, you may have a specific thing that you have that you want to put on that you like to have that may not be in this kit. Well, that's what I like about this nice sturdy roll kit. This is just an example. Maybe you have a couple, you know, ratchet wrenches or something that you're like, I want to have that addition. And that is exactly what I like about this nice sturdy canvas. You could literally drop a couple wrenches. Like I talked about earlier, the Gorilla Tape, whatever your addition is to the kit. And very nicely, we can just roll it right up in there. And now you have, it didn't make it any bigger either. You can roll them right up in there. Now you have those in your kit, um, you know, that you can feel comfortable. You have all the tools that you need and maybe a few extras. So there you go. That's what comes in the Cruise Tools RTH3 uh, Road Tech Kit for Harley Davidson. It is not that big and it doesn't take up that much space. Something that could save you a huge tow bill and save you from being stranded is worth taking up just a little bit of saddlebag room. You can see it in comparison to the cheap, flimsy Harley Davidson kit. Yes, it's a little bit bigger, but it has so many more tools and so many more options. But hopefully that gives you guys a good idea about the size of this. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you're notified when we come out with new free videos because we have a ton in the works for you guys. Thumbs up, like it, share it with all your biker friends, guys. I hope you're well, and I definitely hope you are out there getting some riding in.